Hey guys, James and Mark here with another mukbang. If you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe. We are on the road to 20,000 subscribers by June. And today we are doing a Vietnamese spring rolls or goi cu. What? And I don't think I've... I don't think I've ever heard that before. The reason we're having this is uh, recently we were able to drop by my mom's place and she, I requested her very famous Vietnamese uh, fish dipping sauce. Fish sauce dipping sauce? Nick Mong. Yeah. She made us like a pretty good jar yeah, so of it. And then also because um, the one time I made it, you said you didn't like it as much, so. I said your mom's was better. Yeah. That's it. yeah. I mean, it's the truth, but you know, sometimes even, your husband doesn't want to know the it truth. It even looks different. Smells different, tastes different. It's everything is better about it. I can I can own up to it. <laughs> and we're also gonna actually finally get to the would you rather questions that you guys oh. have submitted. Um, so we have a couple uh, that were submitted. I actually haven't looked at them, even though I like hearted all of them. I didn't. I tried not to look at it so I can give them a if raw, not, authentic mm, answer without having to think about it before. Yeah. And I think maybe for today, just to keep the pace going, do you want to drink? A shot of chummy, because obviously we have to have chummy. Do you want to have a shot of chummy every time we match or every time we're different? Match. Okay, so every time we match, uh, maybe towards the end, I'm going to just purposely pick the opposite. But no, you, you should answer what you truly feel. Um, yeah, so we have about 11 questions. Oh, and we're having truly no plug to them either. We're not sponsored by them either. So yeah, cheers. Cheers. So, Brodard, if you're hiring, I don't know if you can keep up with those ladies. <laughs> I don't think so either. Yeah. Side of these, there's shrimp, there's pork belly, bean sprouts, uh, green leaf lettuce, mint. Did I miss anything? I feel like I'm at noodles, oh, noodles, cucumbers, and cucumbers yeah. bean sprouts. I don't know what you said. I, I'm just all of those. It. But it's it's a really good um, meal in yeah. one thing. I had a little like taste of my mom's sauce earlier, and it's spicy. Oh, good. I like it spicy. She probably saw the video where you said mine's not spicy enough and was like, well, I'll show him and made it a little bit spicy Spicier? just for you. Yeah. Okay. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. I love eating this as a meal because I feel like I'm healthy. Right? Okay. Pretty much has every food group except for dairy and fruit. Oh. Although, scientifically, cucumber is a fruit. Yeah. But culinary, we're eating it as a vegetable. Well, we're having lemonade. Uh, oh, truly, true. does that count? That is so true. What, the five what, what, you said it was like 1% juice, huh? Mmm. Mmm. Like, your mom's sauce, I noticed it's extra citrusy. So I think yeah. that makes it, that makes the flavor that much more bright. I don't, huh? I don't feel like I add enough and you can actually see um, in the sauce, what are those called? The, the, the stuff inside the membrane, the little pulp. Pulp? Mm. Yeah, you can see all the little fibers of the pulp mm -hmm. in the sauce. But I also think she adds a lot of garlic too. Mm. So, I mean, I just need to amp up the heat if I'm going to make it right. Or maybe next time I should just ask her to let me watch her make it. Mm -hmm. Although I feel like she wouldn't really teach you. Mm. Like she would want to be like, I, I want to be the special one that's known for my fish, right? I don't know. No, my mom, there, um, the other week when I had to make something, she walked me through it all over mm. the phone. But classic mom where you just add a little bit till it tastes right. And I'm like, I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. So it's like, how do I know how mm. much sugar to add or how much, but I think that's how you learn. You have to keep doing it. You're not gonna get it right your first time, right? Mm. Mm. It's spicy though. We have these peppers here. 
I need Mark III. I only took one, but I think I'm just gonna dangle it in front of me and be like, okay. Every time we eat this at your parents' house, do you do sweat because of the sauce? No, I would literally, I remember a few times we had it at my parents' house. I would get up maybe after roll number two or three just to wash my face because that's how much I sweat oh, after yeah. eating it. Yeah. All right, so our first question, I'm just gonna go in order, was submitted by ASMR fan. Ooh, hi. She asks, would you rather A, take a shot of nuclear fire sauce after everything you eat and never gain weight, or B, gain weight from everything you eat? If that means like after I eat and then after I'm done eating and just take a shot and never gain weight, okay. <laughs> well, spoiler alert. <laughs> you yeah. too? Well, I would do it if I, I mean, I could eat like, I could eat at a buffet and just take one shot of fire nuclear sauce and not have to worry about it. No, like, I would, after you eat. Yeah, I eat everything and take a shot. I would oh, totally yeah, do yeah. that. Well, who oh would, yeah, I don't want to gain weight. I don't want to gain weight. If that means if we match, we oh, just we take drink. a shot. Yeah. Oh, dang oh. it. You lose weight because of everything flushing out of your system. <laughs> Cause it kind of already happens. Nuclear diet. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Mm. Oh, so smooth. Oh, just magic in my mouth. Woo. It's so smooth. It is smoother yeah. for now. This question comes from Ming Kalarde. Hopefully I said that right. Would you rather have A, unlimited international first class tickets mm. or B, never have to pay for food at restaurants? Well, you know what's very interesting about this question is like right now, we can't do any of those. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. Ready? Go. <gasps> yeah. I thought you were going to choose B. Well, I was going to choose B, but I don't think I've ever flown first class. Me neither, but so, I hear great things about it. Yeah. And and it's like thousands and thousands of dollars more than economy. So there's cost savings there and just use the money saved to eat out. No, I think so. Don't you ever feel like silently judged when you have to walk through like the better ticket like rows? Like I, I, when I go, I feel very like a peon where I'm like, what do they get? What do they get? Like, I'm just so nosy as I'm walking with all my bags, like back into the very back of the plane. And meanwhile, they're just like, spread eagle in their chair, which you can't do in uh, business no, coach they, class or whatever we fly. everything apart, yeah. So I'm just like, oh, that's nice. Or even after Japan, when we like walked past and I'm just like, oh, that was a nice like sleep. Like, but then I like walked back and I was like, that person is laying completely down right now. So I'm just like, I would, I kind of would want Well, that. my logic is because um, like, I feel like no matter what, if you get a free first class ticket or not, the service is going to be fantastic. Yeah. I would be afraid that, it, you know, you go to that Michelin star restaurant and they see you, they're like, oh, he's here again and <laughs> we're not getting paid. You know, like, you know, like oh, that you're kind of like, wow. kind of like that kind of stigma. Tummy time. Cheers. If we were in first class, they pour our chummy, right? Actually, this bottle is the same color scheme as Korean Air, so maybe them two need, need to collab. <laughs> Chummy <sighs> Air. That was a good question, because it wasn't it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy because now I'm also, I'm like thinking like I would love to go anywhere and eat and not have to pay. Yeah, so because sometimes we go to like expensive restaurants and that'd be nice. Yeah, you know? we we only look at one side of the menu. We don't have to pay attention to the second side. <laughs> Although some of the fancy places don't even have prices on their menu. So it's like, you don't even know. Mm. I don't try to just bite the tip where there's no seeds. That's my trick. Hmm. Or you go to a restaurant and you say, I have everything that has the MP next to it. <laughs> Market. Well, okay, here, can I ask you this? Because I feel like we've had this conversation here and there. Whenever something is MP, is it okay to ask them, what is it? Yeah, I think okay. so. Because I feel like there's been a few times where we were just like, but I, I don't want to ask. I would say, wanna... oh, how much is this? I would say, oh, so, um, you know, uh, I don't know. What would I say? I would probably word it differently and say, oh, like, 
uh, is this a you know is this a decent price today? Something like that. Okay, without fat, flat right out saying it. Like oh how so what is like how much is out there? Oh you know is is it pretty decent today? Like is it pretty decently priced today? Usually what MP stuff is usually I don't know like the lobster, sea urchin, foie gras like those are usually MP prices. Mm -hmm. They're really good. Hmm. Well, I guess the good thing from working from home is after I eat this, I don't have to worry about funky breath at the office tomorrow. This, I wouldn't think would give me funky breath. Like, like eating whole garlic from Korean barbecue. That's funky breath, you know? This is pretty okay. <laughs> I'm gonna prove you wrong later. Uh -oh. <laughs> Because it lingers for me. There's a lot of garlic in here. It just doesn't look like it. Next question comes from Mama D's World. We love her. Mm. Love her and Dom. Would you rather A, work more hours per day, but work fewer days, or B, work fewer hours per day, but work more days? Okay. Ready? Yeah. I mean, you're already at work, right? Yeah. But these days it doesn't really matter because my commute's so short. So it's like, I guess I could go in. But, if, but imagine if you work far away. Of course you want to work less days because the commute time. Like the average commuting time for the um, average worker, I don't know, it's like probably like two hours probably. A day? Probably. That's a lot. That's 10 hours of your time a week if you're working especially, a traditional five. Yeah, especially in like LA area, right? Yeah. You know this, right? Our work, we offer the option for full-time staff either to work a normal 5 eighths or 4 tens, which is four days a week, 10 hours a day. Like we're approved to offer that. Mm. Personally, I run a little, I run out of steam a little bit around, I work like eight to five. I run out a little steam and I've told my boss it's like around four, like 3.30 or four. Like I have to make sure whatever tasks I have during that time of day, I have enough concentration to be able to execute on. I can't do like the, cre like the creative stuff is not good during that time of day. Yeah, I have to do kind of more like menial tasks where it's just like step-by-step, step, like, okay, I know how to do this, but Saturday and Sunday, I love to sleep in. But then to have not, to not have that option that I wouldn't be happy with that. So. Obviously though, between those two, I chose A, but I also don't, like the idea of spending most of your day at work. That's true. Because the time that I have after work, I feel like it goes by so fast. It's so precious to me. Mm -hmm. So making that time at home even shorter, it's like, is it worth it? Right. You know? Yeah. Okay, All right. Like, well, we need to Oh, we did it. We match. We're matching on everything and we don't have enough chummy to like get through this whole video. <laughs> we don't have another bottle in the... I didn't see any. Uh oh. Yay! Uh oh. We'll, we'll I know you. You probably have. have like a. We have two boxes some downstairs. Other... Oh, there's still more boxes on there? Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> oh. It's like oh. you don't need shaving cream with chummy. It's that smooth. Oh, bring the pork <laughs> extra pieces of pork belly. I feel like I need Anju right now because, you know. Oh, we don't have chopsticks. Use your fingers, girls. Would you rather? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, would you rather use your fingers or not? <laughs> Question comes from mm -hmm. Cosmo Coco. I, that's a fun name. <laughs> Sounds like a drink. <laughs> like a cocktail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you rather A have a skin condition that requires you to be naked twenty four seven, or B have a condition that requires you to wear multiple layers twenty four seven? Ready, go. Whoa, um, you really? Yeah. Oh, Cause you're like, you don't like being hot. I don't like being hot at all. Well, here's my logic. Well, I also hope you picked A cause I wouldn't mind you being naked 24 seven. Hey. Well, my <laughs> logic is back to the first question by AS ASMR fan. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to be overweight because I'll be taking the fire noodle shot after each meal. So I'll be at my prime weight and I, if I have it, I want to flaunt it. Yeah, but the girl, they're gonna let you fly first class. 
I'll be that good looking. They'll be like, yeah, that's why you deserve that free ticket. Girl. No, well, here's the thing though. I don't like being cold either. No. So during the winter time, can you imagine not having any layers on? Ooh, actually, I might, oh, that's hard. I don't even layer when it is cold. Like we could, we could never go to Alaska. Like I wouldn't survive. I, I would literally fly to Alaska first class, but not get off the plane and then fly somewhere else. <laughs> I don't need to get off. It's okay, right? Are Whoa. we done with the chummy already? Next destination, Buzzdville. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm okay because I feel like I'm sweating out everything, oh. all the toxins that would normally make me like, you know. Yeah. Would you rather be able to A, take back anything you say or B, hear every conversation around you. Wait, who asked this question? Oh, I'm sorry. Tamika Thomas. Thank you for submitting your question. So, okay, ready? Go. <gasps> okay, finally. I'm not surprised you picked B because Mark is totally, <laughs> what? Mark is totally that like, I don't know, someone's yelling and then he is that neighbor that is like looking through the blinds out and is like finding out what's going on. I just don't know what No is. lie, I'm not gonna say where we lived, but one time we heard like arguments happening in the neighborhood and he made sure the lights were off. We were on the ground and I don't know what that, that crawl is that people do in the military, but we were flat on the ground and we were listening to the argument unfold. And I was, I was uh, supportive of it, but I did not understand any of it because it was in Korean. Yeah, you were so curious. They're like, what did they say? What did they say? Like, shh, let me listen. I you were so a, eager for me to translate. It was about money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But why would you want to hear everyone's conversation? I think that's more interesting than being able to take back what I say. Like, well, maybe it's because I usually say a lot of stupid stuff. So it'd be nice to just- You need a- Yeah! <laughs> Tamika, make it happen. He needs to be able to take back what he says. I think I've gotten, I don't know if I've gotten better, but I mean like, I'm trying. So here's the thing, when you try, you're good, but it just gets bottled up and then the next day, it just kind of like anything, like you just unleash everything. So it's bound to happen anyways. You sure you don't need eight? Cause you're heading down that road. No, but seriously, I think it's more interesting just to be able to hear our conversations. By nature, you're more curious about other people's I wanna business. I want to learn. I am uh, in the mindset that I I don't know it all, so I want to learn everything. I'm 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 always wanting to learn. Hmm. I'm a scholar. <laughs> <laughs> Take your bite okay. so you can stop talking, <laughs> Lord. Put it in your mouth, hurry. There you go. Mm. Was that our first one we didn't match? Mm -hmm. Finally. Mm. Next question comes from Kathleen Bakani. Thank you for submitting your question. Would you rather, ooh, and she labeled it AB, so it makes it easier for me. Would you rather A, have really sensitive taste buds, identifying and appreciating each taste notes and gain weight to anything and everything you eat or B, not gain weight to anything and everything you eat but have no taste buds and appetite to eat at all. Go. Yeah. But they're both bad choices. I don't, I don't think having hypersensitive taste buds is good. No, it's not, but then I thought but the hypersensitive taste buds comes at a cost. You gain weight with everything you eat. I know, so having hypersensitive taste buds plus gaining weight, both of those are not good. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't want to have no taste buds. Mm -hmm. So then I have to choose what, which one is worse. Mm -hmm. But there is no like good or bad in this one. Like, remember we know someone who says, I was just going to say that. Like, oh, if this has black pepper, oh, that's too spicy for me. Oh no, that, no, like, the, remember, I'm not talking about like, that. Like, someone who's, like, that sensitive to just any spice, even black pepper is, like, too spicy for them, you know? Like, I think that's the way that's sad. In a way, having hyper... You know what? I changed my answer. It's B. <laughs> Someone's a flip-flopper. 
<laughs> yeah, like, I'm very conviction. I believe what I say. You're like, mm. but now why do you change to be? No, because you don't want to gain weight and you don't taste anything. Having hypersensitive taste bud, in a way, you, you don't enjoy food. Probably the same way you don't enjoy food if, if you have no taste buds. So if, to me, if that those two cancels out, then I'd rather not gain weight. Like you eat a piece of like uh, you take a bite of apple. Oh my god, it's so sweet! It's so sweet. I can't be, I can't eat another bite. But you can wait. How sad is that? I rather just eat an apple. And be like I don't know what it tastes like. It's like onion, banana. Well, I don't know. the way she framed her question is, she said you appreciate each taste. Oh, okay. I so you gotta that. listen. You're not listening. I was fixated on the hypersensitive taste bud. Yeah. So you gonna change your answer again? <laughs> then A. <laughs> <sighs> Woo! That heat just stacks on top of each other. The next question <laughs> comes from Michelle Carcamo. She says, would you rather stay home forever or go back to work? Okay. Ready, go. Oh, that's interesting because right now we're the opposite. I know, I Mark know. is going in every day still, and I'm working from home. Um, I just I think that I think the way you phrase it, like stay home forever, like it just sounds so permanent. And I like the flexibility of being able to go in and have a face to face meeting with someone. Like I miss that. So they're saying that there are some people uh -huh. who miss going into work because they look forward to that office like co-worker interaction and water cooler talk right? water cooler talk they're like you know they have enjoy but at home like they don't get that for me although i love people that i work with um because of my position i'm also i don't really have a lot of like co-workers that I could just really be on. like it's just like it's different right it's a very lonely position I mean there are benefits to staying at home and working like yeah. I have not worn a pair of pants in like ages well my benefit is that I could order things to be delivered at home and you are here to answer the door and not get our packages stolen the record so far is three times in one day like I was like who keeps coming to our doorbell okay to be honest I'm thinking They're of for you. the house. I'm thinking of you when I do that. Cause I I noticed that when you work from home, you're so concentrated in your work that you hardly even get up from your chair, right? So I am caring about your That is not Can we not I care about your being able to just get baby, up and stretch baby. and stretch out your legs. Look at me in the eye. That is not the reason why you order <laughs> All the things you order, and well, let's be I'm real. I'm trying to look at you in your eyes, but I just see it's not coming down from your nose, and that's a distraction. <laughs> there you go, get a girl. I just haven't had fresh air in eight <laughs> weeks. Like, what else do you expect? Feeling feelings right now. Let's keep going with the questions before I start going to that place in my brain. What? what are you? I don't know what I'm feeling. I just you've been when emotional you, lately. No, I I think uh, this question I don't think triggered anything, but it did because it's just like ideas. Like I feel like we are meant, we are put on this planet and we're meant to do more than just stay at home all the time. But I know right now we need to do that because it's in the best interest of everyone. I have not pumped gas in two months. Um. Okay. Let's be real. You haven't pumped gas in your new car since you got it last August. Well, someone has a monopoly over the Shell credit card, and that's not my fault. <laughs> we are ready for the next would you rather you question. You are running on fumes, and you're like, baby, baby, can you get gas for me? It was like... <laughs> but I'm, I'm more of the... I feel like out of the two of us, I'm more nervous about running out of gas than you are, for sure. You're more the like, okay, the light's on, I can still go, whatever. I don't usually, that was a very like anomaly where I'm like, I allowed the light to come on, but I never, I don't like even the light I to come I think that on. comes from like, I just have more experience driving, so I just have a better <laughs> gauge on- Is that like, a read girl? Is the library open? 
Is the library open? It's actually not open during the stay home. Oh. <laughs> um, this question comes from Angie V. Her profile picture is this pretty white bow against this uh, white, this pink background. Mm -hmm. Would you rather erase the memory of your favorite songs or music or your favorite movies? Wait, say the, what? what? Would you rather erase, erase the memory? So either you forget about all of the songs and music that you like or your favorite movies you forget. We're gonna drink to this one, I believe. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> what? I thought you had such an attachment to all the artists that you like. I do, and there are some music that really gets me emotional and makes there me does. feel good. Yeah. But that's true, but I want to say I have more of that with movies. Oh, okay. Like, I just, I just, we we were never a movie going couple. So I just never thought you even there cared are about movies, movies that really like make me feel like sister act. Like, <laughs> Baby, I was sister, just a kid when I like Mary that Clarence movie. like just made you feel something. Like I just don't <clears throat> understand. I will follow him wherever he may go. Ooh, I'm just I'm really shocked by this. Uh, I feel like we should. Oh wait, you drink already? What? What did you? <laughs> hey, this is empty. <laughs> when did I drink? I don't ever? know. I don't, I you really were supposed know. to drink only. I'm not. Words. I, I caught myself and I was like, no, I'm putting it down and I don't, it disappeared after This that. is what happens all the time, guys. Now you guys see it in real time. <laughs> I just don't, I don't, I'm like ready to, I, I was ready to drink with you. Technically it's not real time because it's an edited mukbang video. If this was a live, then it would be real time. <sighs> Technicality rules. And I do have good songs, but you know what? I think I sh told you this before. The reason why I don't really retain lyrics all that much is because I embody the music as music and I don't really like try to remember like the actual lyrics or what it's trying to say. I get my feelings and emotions by the overall music, right? The overall like the bass, the beat, the melody, the you know the everything the singer, the arrangement and, and yeah. even this even even the lyrics but they're equally important to me so that's why the lyrics don't stand out more because they're just all equal to me right so i do like i love music um i it was either today or yesterday i listened to a song and i almost started crying was it material girl it was not material girl well what's the song? it was just like a walk you've been listening to the soundtrack to walk to remember. Yeah, but it's, it wasn't, I don't know what it was, but I just feel like music, I think it's because music, even if I listen it to another, in another language, for instance, like I listen to a lot of Korean music, I have no idea what they're talking about, but I feel the emotions in it still. But if I watched a movie without subtitles, I don't know if the emotions would uh, translate over. Uh, the next question comes from Fidelia Gutierrez. She says, would you rather eat king crab or snow crab? Okay. Ready? Because we, we all about the money. It's not about the money, money, but it is, honey. All about the money. You can pour the last of your shot because I don't know what happened with oh. your other one. Although we both chose king crab, there is satisfaction to snow crabs where like, you know how like it's so easy to just crack this leg shell and just pull it apart and you eat the whole piece. Like, no, it's, it's king so, crab. I don't know. No, I'm just saying that there's that benefit to it. King crab is like, it's so spiky. Like, it, well, we got through all the questions. We have one more left. It comes from Lucy Muramatsu. I think she's from Vegas. Would you rather live on an island? Well, how do you know Vegas? I don't. I actually don't know. Oh, because during one of our oh, she she messaged me on Instagram oh, okay. and said that she bought uh, the grill that we use in our Korean barbecue, and then was just asking where to get the meat. She says, "Would you rather a live on an island or live in a big city?" Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no drinky. I chose island because I've never lived on an island. So I would rather choose that versus a big city, which I feel like 
even though we don't live in a super big city, I feel like I understand what it would entail and I'm not, I'd rather live in an island. You know what, this, this was hard for me. Was it? Because I always like big cities because there's a lot of art, there's a lot of culture, there's Broadway music, like there's a lot more experiences. But, and, that, and that's why I chose B because I was like, well, that's always been my, like, my mantra, right? But I feel like as I get older, I'm becoming more like this, mm. where I just want no hustle, no bustle, just wake up with a monkey who is delivering a coconut cocktail to you every morning. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for submitting those questions. Actually, I feel like it um, elicited a lot, uh, elicited? Yeah, elicited a lot of Things that I didn't even think about or know about Mark. So mm. I always appreciate when mukbangs help us Get think about know. things that are beyond what we we think we're going to talk about. Because we will never ask each other, would you live, rather live on an island or you know, like we would, That's not a normal piece of conversation for us, right? It's more like, when are you going to take out the trash? Now or later? <laughs> oh, how do you like my hat? I was just looking at it and I'm like, you look more like... Um, you look more like Bert. Is Bert that guy? You look more cranky usually than me. But my face shape is Ernie. My face shape is not Ernie? I feel like I have a rounder face than you. Mm. But James. Oh, wait, what? Um, you have something to ask me? Yes, I want you to decide what the word of the day is for this video. Let's go with hero. <laughs> What? Okay. Okay, so if you guys watch up to this part I know exactly why he said hero too. We sat in the comments if you guys got to this part. If you guys are interested <clears throat> in us um, making spring rolls, we actually did a live of it. So we're gonna link it here for you guys to watch as mm. well. Mm -hmm. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs it up, comment, subscribe. Support so, us. Thank you so much. And check out one of our other videos and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.